here are the next few pages of the Cloud T Monkey story written by Malpit and Elspen Graham. The next morning there was no crackle from the fire, no whisper from the kettle, no perfume of sweet tea. Tashi, come here, child. Tashi crossed the dim room to her mother's bed. The cough was hard and sharp, like a stick breaking. Her mother's face was cold but also wet with sweat. I am sick, child. I do not think I can work today. Tashi ran to the dawn-lit road when she heard the women coming. Two came into the house, her aunt, Sonam, and one other. They felt her mother's forehead and spoke to each other in low voices. Sonam brought water and told Tashi to make sure her mother drank. Then they hurried away to their work. The next morning was the same. Tashi knew that if her mother could not work there would be no money. With no money to pay the doctor, her mother would not get well. If her mother did not get well, she could not work and there would be no money. The problem went round and round. It was like a snake with its tail and its mouth and Tashi was frightened by it. When her mother was asleep, Tashi dragged the heavy tea basket to the door. She found that if she leaned her body forward, she could lift the bottom of the basket off the ground. Bent like this, she began the long walk to the plantation. When she got there, Tashi could see no one. The bushes loomed over her. She could hear the shouts of the overseer and the calls of the women. She hauled her basket along the rows until she saw Aunt Sonam plucking the bushes and dropping the leaves over the shoulder into her basket over and over again like a clockwork machine. Before Tashi could reach Sonam, a shadow fell upon her. She looked up. The overseer stood there, his hands on his hips. Desperately, Tashi began to pick leaves, any leaves that she could reach. The overseer laughed an ugly laugh full of brown teeth. He called the other women to come and look at this stupid child who thought she could pick tea from the bushes that were taller than herself. Then he kicked the basket over, spilling the sad and dusty leaves onto the ground. Tashi looked up into the face of her aunt Sonam, but there was no help there. Sonam did not dare make an enemy of the overseer, and she pulled an end of her headscarf over her face and turned away. Tashi dragged the empty basket down to the shade of the tree that grew out of the rocks, and when she got there, she sat and wept with her head in her hands. She wept for her mother and for Aunt Sonam and for herself. She cried for a long time. Then she wiped her wet eyes with the backs of her hands and looked up. The monkeys were sitting in a circle of shade, watching her. They were all watching her the babies hanging from their mothers, the older ones quiet for once, Raja himself sitting, looking at her with his old head tilted curiously to one side. So she told them everything. She told them everything because there was no one else to tell. When she had finished, there was stillness and silence for a few minutes. Then Raja walked through the tree shadow towards her. Coming closer than he had ever come before, he stood and was suddenly taller than Tashi. He put his long fingers on the rim of the basket and felt along it carefully. Then, without moving his head, he gave a harsh cry. Chuck, 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 chuck! Instantly, Several of the adult monkeys leapt across the clearing, grabbed the basket, lifted it, and then with amazing strength and speed, carried it up and over the jumbled rocks towards the slopes of the mountains. Higher and higher they went, Raja leading. In a very short time, they and the basket had vanished into the clouds, far above the plantation. Tashi was too dismayed by the theft of her mother's basket to cry out. She stood watching the monkeys go and then sat, feeling terribly tired. The young ones came to her. She took the three small bananas that were her lunch 
and shared them, feeding the young ones calmed her. After a while, she fell asleep. Make a prediction. Predict the next part of the story. Write the end of the story using noun phrases and answer these questions. What might happen next? What are Tashi's worries? How might they be solved? My prediction could be that the cheeky monkeys carried away the basket to the waterfall and filled it with the most juicy fish. (laughs) 